get up close encounters with animals and also keep the kids learning through spring break. Fox Size Hunter Lake is live in Santee with all the details. Oh. Cool. This is so cool. Okay, so this is Saffron. She is a Tegu and she's loving this because she's just soaking up the sun right here. I have some really cool animals to show you this morning. So if you're at home, if the kids haven't gone to school yet, bring them to the screen. We are going to show you some really cool stuff in this hour and the next one, which is so cool. So Zoo Vargo's out here. And if you have not heard of them, we're going to talk a little bit about them and the Animal Bond Academy. So first thing first, um, Saffron's got a really cool story. She was rescued here in San Diego. If I saw this in my backyard, I would run the other direction. <laughs> she's actually very gentle, though. She is. She's very gentle. And yeah, so she was found wandering around in the streets here in San Diego, and then she was rescued by the Humane Society. And, you know, she is a creature teacher spreading her voice to be a voice for all those animals that people try and release their pets out into the wild where those animals don't know how to survive in the wild. So she's reminding people to be responsible pet owners. Yeah. Would a tegu normally be found in San Diego? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Absolutely not. Okay. No. The, the lizards we're going to find here in our backyards are going to be much smaller. Yeah, I would, I would imagine so. People walk outside and they're like, is there an alligator in my backyard? <laughs> and then, but I'm glad she has a good home now. Look at her tongue. That is really interesting. Yeah, she's missing a couple toes here and there. So you guys now take really good care of her, and she gets to teach other people absolutely. about what kind of species she is. Um, that's kind of what Zuvargo is all about. That's absolutely right. So here at Zuvargo, you know, our mission is to reconnect people to science of nature that's happening all around us, and we can't do that without other partner organizations like Animal Bond Academy. Okay, let's talk about what Animal Bond Academy is. I'll come back to you, Saffron. You're Super cute. I kind of like her. You know, it's like lizards, you got to warm up to them a little bit, and then all of a sudden you're like, well, she's pretty cool. Yeah, so, she is. Annie, you started this Animal Bond Academy. Yeah. So, if people are looking for any kind of animal in San Diego, basically a program to get their kids closer to kids, um, to animals, learning about species and all of that, they can come to you now. You have a book, you have all of these online videos. How many different organizations are in this academy now? So, we're really excited. We have close to 40 organizations that we have featured. We currently have 30 videos posted. We have more that are going to happen throughout this year, through October, and we feature places like Zovargo, who can teach us so much about different types of animals. We have featured cow rescues and horse rescues and small animal rescues. This isn't yeah. a real bunny, but <laughs> <laughs> so rescues like that. So anything that you're looking for, um, you can go onto the Animal Bond Academy channel on, on YouTube and check it out. Yeah, it was really neat because during the pandemic, basically, you saw a need. You said all of these right. groups yeah. are getting no attention and we don't know that they're there and they still need to feed the animals they still need to care for them so this was a great way to kind of show everybody what's out there and it's really cool now because if you're looking for a program during spring break you're the go-to right you can check out all of these different organizations see who's doing what during spring and summer mm -hmm. um, now that more organizations are able to open up people can come on to their property and check out the animals or even be mobile like Zovargo yep. and they can go to them yeah and share what they have with their animals. I love this. Okay, well, I'm going to look that up as well and put it on foxlifesandiego.com. Click on the Scene On tab for the Animal Bond Academy um, because I love how you guys have all these different programs. Amanda, what's really cool is you have all kinds of animals. Speaking of, <laughs> this one who's like ready to give me a high five. Ready? Boop, high five. So cute. Um, so who do we have here? Yeah, this is Boba. She is a call duck. And uh, this type of species you also shouldn't see out and about. Yeah. They're domesticated species of duck. But what's special about Boba and how she uh, is part of our programs at Zuvargo is she teaches people, you know what, it's not the best idea to feed ducks bread. And Aww. if you're ever near the ponds or waterways, it's always a great idea to pick up all that trash and garbage that you see out there. Yeah. Um, because ducks and all life out there that's near the waterways, all those marine mammals, and even waterfowl like boba here, they're all impacted by that. So Zuvargo is all about conservation. <laughs> See, they'll just pull on anything and nibble on anything. Well, and I'm so, guilty. Yeah. I've definitely grabbed like the old bread and then, you know, taken it out. So I guess that's not the best thing to do. But I love that you guys are taking care of the animals and letting us learn a little bit more about them. And you know what? It's educational for our kids over spring and summer if you're looking for these right. programs. I'm putting all the information on fox5sandiego.com. Click on the scene on tab. Hi, you're very cute. Yes, yes. She said hello. I'll take it. I'll hello, take duck. it. Um, and I know, Raul, you know a little bit about Zubargo. They have such cool animals. Um, and they come to your backyard even if you want to. The Aflac. Oh, yeah. Cool. Hi. That's not what she said. birthday parties and they're great. What did you have to say? Yes, they do. I agree with that. love the animals. Really? This is like one of my easiest interviews. What do you have to say? Have them say something. Tell me more.
That doesn't sound like a Oh, yeah? You quack. don't say. That's a quack. Jesus, do one of those. What oh. kind of quack is that? Hi. <laughs> High five. What kind of quack was that? What's a quack? She what needs a, a little more sleep. Heather, thank you.